now we are gonna study the infratemporal fossa but before going to it you are looking into the temporal fossa definitely four bones are there in the area called terion now infratemporal fossa for this i have to put my finger on the top and all the area below it the this uh, zygomatic arch and my finger you can see the infratemporal fossa now look into the boundaries entirely you can get the posterior aspect of the body of the maxilla that forms its interior boundary and for the posterior look into the tympanic plate there is a steloid process and the mastoid process they all come on its posterior aspect and for the medial wall look into the lateral pterygoid plate right and what forms its lateral boundary for this i have to put my thumb in to form the ramus of the mandible this structure is forming the lateral boundary what forms its roof for this we have to see the infratemporal surface of the greater wing of sphenoid so i have to turn it upside down so look this is the show clearly i have to make it a clear picture this is a pentagonal infratemporal surface of the greater wing of sphenoid that is forming the roof of the infratemporal fossa after bone description we learn it through the picture as well here you can see the infratemporal fossa being marked by the dotted line you can see that the body of the maxilla is going to form its interior boundary now see posteriorly you get the tympanic plate the steroid process the mastoid process they come posteriorly now what else you can see you can find that lateral pterygoid plate is going to form its medial boundary and definitely mandible is being removed that forms its lateral boundary right now we have to look what forms it roof right and for this we have to look into another picture right now look into the norma bezalis here you can see the greater wing of sphenoid this is the infratemporal surface of the greater wing of sphenoid and definitely this area is forming the roof of the infratemporal fossa right now look into the content of the infratemporal fossa you can see the medial and lateral pterygoid muscles and definitely the lower end of the temporalis muscle is also its content and what else you can see you can see the maxillary artery and the mandibular nerve they are also the content of this infra temporal fossa right and of course the posterior superior alveolar nerve and arteries are also the content of it the buccal nerve the lingual nerve the inferior alveolar nerve are also its content right and then we can mention the corda tympani which is a branch of the facial nerve is also its content right and another content the otic ganglion also lies there you can see the blue color medial pterygoid muscle and the red maxillary artery is also present here right another good picture to show you the content of infratemporal fossa you can see various nerves let's discuss them that these are lingual nerve the inferior alveolar nerve is there the buccal nerve 